द लेप्रोकॉन हु लॉस्ट हीज रेनबो रिटन बाय सीन कालाहॉन इलस्ट्रेटेड बाय नैन्सी कोट इन द सॉफ्ट ड्रिजल दैट वाज फॉलिंग ऑन सेंट पैट्रिक्स डे कॉलिन विश्ड हर ग्रैंडफादर गुड लक He gave her a piece of red like rice her favorite candy and then he was off to the parrot to play the bagpipes her grandfather had told colin that the notes he and his bandmates played were like colors on the air colors only your ears could see playing music is like building a rainbow He said a little man i once knew taught me that Her mom and dad were going to watch the parrot from the window but Colleen sat on the porch under her yellow umbrella What if it rained so much that everyone went home and no one heard her grandfather's bagpipe that would be a shame his music was so beautiful and so sad it made people smile and cry at once to pass the time she played a song on her green penny whistle which had a tiny shamrock printed on it her grandfather had brought it all the way from ireland it was her favorite thing in all the world and she never let anybody touch it when she finished the tune she took a bite of her like rice just then a little man appeared on the top step he was a leprechaun i like your penny whistle the little man said you play very well colin started to say thank you when suddenly the leprechaun jumped into the air and took the like rice stick right out of her mouth he dropped it into his hat thank you he said i will be needing that or my name's not roy g beef it's just the shade of red i am looking for colin was shocked what are you doing she shouted Give me my candy! The leprechaun frowned. Your grandfather was much more helpful. You know my grandfather? Colin asked. Yes, we created a rainbow together back when he was a boy. Mr. Beave explained. Colin was puzzled. Could this be the little man her grandfather talked about? Mr. Beave looked glum. I have lost my rainbow again and my gold is at the end of it. To be a leprechaun in good standing, I must have gold. So I need someone's help to build a rainbow. He paused. That someone is you. Colin frowned. Leprechauns were tricky. Everyone knew that. Could Mr. Beef be telling the truth? Let me show you something. The leprechaun said, "Spin around with the hat and watch what happens." She twirled around, holding the hat. Suddenly, a streak of bright red, just the color of her like rice, sprang out of the hat, hung in the air for a moment, and then disappeared. Colin was amazed. See. Mr Beef said we are starting to make a rainbow and if there is a rainbow the sun will come out to shine on the parade Colin took a deep breath <sighs> what would we do for every color i need something that belongs to you something red orange yellow green blue indigo and violet Colin looked around 
there was very new orange basketball. She hated to give it up, but she tossed it into Mr. Beef's hat. Immediately, an orange streak shot up. She gave him her yellow umbrella, yellow carved under the orange. When her blue ribbons went in, a beautiful blue appeared. Next to go was her indigo headband. And finally, her favorite violet scarf. Now, there was a rainbow of colors coming out of that hat, but something was wrong. Right between the yellow and blue, there was an empty space. Polly knew which color was missing. Yes, we need green, Mr. Beeb said. And not just any green, Colleen. It's a very hard color to find, which is why rainbows are so rare. It was raining harder. The parrot goers were starting to leave. Colleen was not. What would the leprechaun want? You are going to have to make one more sacrifice, lass, Mr. Beef said. I am going to need your penny whistle with the shamrock on it. That green is the last perfect color I need for my rainbow. Colin started to cry. No, she said, clutching her precious penny whistle. My grandfather gave it to me. But Colin, dear, if you give me the penny whistle, you and I can make the sun shine on this parade and on your grandfather, said Mr. Weave pleadingly. Colin held the penny whistle to her lips and blew one last sad note. She paused and then dropped the penny whistle into the leprechaun's hat. In a flash, the rain stopped, the sun burst through the clouds and a rainbow, complete with the most beautiful shades of green ever, spread across the sky. The parrot goers gazed up in wonder, and Colleen's grandfather began to play the big pipes. The music was so beautiful and sad that people smiled and cried at once. Nobody noticed that a pot of gold had appeared at the end of the rainbow, right on Colin's front lawn. Roy G. Beef dug his hand into the pot of gold and pulled out a flute that looked just like Colin's penny whistle. But this wasn't a toy flute. It was a real one, made of silver, and there was a shamrock on it that looked like Collins. Only this one was made of emeralds. Thanks for sharing with me, Mr. Beef said, as he handed Colin the flute. And with that, he and his pot of gold were gone. Colin's grandfather stood in front of her. Who was that you were talking with? He asked. Roy G. Beef, she said. He is a leprechaun. I thought I recognized him. Her grandfather said. He gave me this flute, Grandpa. Ah, oh, it's a nice one. Silver, just like my big pipes. What do you say we play a tune? So together they played. When Irish eyes are smiling, the colors danced on air. The end. Friends, if you like our read aloud, please subscribe to our channel. Your subscription helps us to grow. Thank you. See you again.